do you guys know what time it is? <coughs> oh, it's Sketchbox time. Alright guys, if you hear a bunch of playing and whining in the back, it's my pupper Roos. He wants to play and we've been playing and I need a break. So, as you can see, we have my sketch box. <laughs> and guess what? Oops! That, that way. Look, no sticker. Thank you! I love it. If you guys do not know what Sketchbox is, it is a monthly subscription box where you get some of the coolest supplies ever. And sometimes it's it's like a theme, but it's not. It's just, I don't know, it's awesome. I love them. I've been doing them for years. And no, not sponsored yet. And I can't wait to show you. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I love my Sketchbox. And this one I actually was looking forward to. Um, because sometimes they give you like little secret hints and previews of things. So I got a good idea what they're gonna have in this box this month. So mm, I'm excited. Seriously, I really am. Okay, let's check out the first person's art because these guys, oh, that's why I like them like this. These guys support artists by putting their artwork on. You can submit it. Um, you, they're just amazing. I love these guys. So the first one is Liz. By the way, I'm a huge owl person. One time when I was a young little stubby, I went on a little hike near my creek where I grew up and the first cool thing I saw was um, this family of possums. So like if you look at the old paintings, you would see a family of possums that would be like, Here's one, here's one, here's one. And they just would get smaller and smaller, like that. And their little tails would be curled around the twig and blah, blah, blah. I got to see that. And so this one right here was the mom possum, I guess, and I have no idea. They were all crashed out, sleeping upside down. It was so ridiculously cute. And maybe that should, maybe that's what we can paint from this. Let's see if I can, if I had the correct colors, I will paint that. But this one right here was just watch me. Like, I was like this close from her. Just check. It's like, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna see this. This is so cute. And she allowed me to sit there. She didn't hit. She just watched me. And then I bowed to her and said thank you. And then, then, because because of Alf, <laughs> this is why I'm telling the story. Um, not even 50 feet up from that trail, an owl just burst out of nowhere because he blended so well with the ground all of a sudden whoo, and you could feel the wind just flowing it was like turning a fan on high was what it was like just how much wind that bird could generate from its wings and it was just so powerful so liz thank you for bringing up a good story <laughs> so let's get back to the uh the sketch box so with each sketch box you will get um, this, you'll get this, and then on the back it tells you everything that's on there. And I am going to do this so you guys can see, because I'm not good at naming certain words. As you can tell, sometimes my speech is hard to understand, other times it's pretty crisp. Okay. Then they celebrate a second artist. So first we'll look at this gorgeous uh, picture. Anastasia. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And hopefully you're able to see that. Or... So, let's dig into this. Because I've been excited. We have a water brush. Now, I love doing um, my dog's ball. <laughs> trying to keep him from interrupting. Um, I love doing watercolors. A lot of my illustrations I have done, other than Louis's book, is um, done in watercolor. And these types of brushes are amazing. Like, I hated watercolors in high school because I never seemed to get it right. 
until I got introduced by Sketchbox, of all people, um, these watercolor brushes. In fact, oh, let's see, do I have one here? I should have had one here. <laughs> My bird's taking a bath. So like this one is from this watercolor set here. It came with it. But I've been using this, like these, for every, almost every illustration but Louise. Love these things. Like, I'm excited to use that one. Next one up. Ooh, this is what I've been excited for. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, we are definitely gonna be able to do that scene. Okay, I'm excited. Look at those beautiful colors. Now, Sketchbox does not skimp around with art supplies and they do listen to you when things go wrong. So I know you're watching Sketchbox. I love you, Sketchbox. You, you're gonna fall in love with me sooner or later and you're gonna be like, girl, okay, shut up already. We will sponsor you. And I'll be like, yay. Anyways. Seriously, they do not mess around with quality. I love their stuff. Very, very few, very, 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 very rarely do I ever have an issue. So I'm stoked to play around with these. Oh my goodness. So excited. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, the sticker. Oh, hey, look. It's the books. Oh, I can't wait. That's going on one of my drawers. Now we have a... Fabricastel. What is this? <laughs> Watercolor pencil. Ooh, it's brown. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing the possum scene, I hope. That is so pretty. And then we have another liner, a Copic multi-liner in the color of gray. Yep, gray-ish. Right? Yep, warm gray. Very good. This will come in handy for the uh, possums. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. By the way, Australia possums versus American possums, they're like, it's just, Australia possum, possums, I believe is what they're actually called them out there, are absolutely the most cutest things you'll ever see. But they sound like the devil himself, really, really mad. Then when you go to America, they're if they're really healthy, they look adorable, but they they sound like a really pissed off cat. <laughs> it's just so different how like our possums are so completely different, and you would think it's just it cracks me up. Don't mind me. I'm I'm being amused by irony. Okay, so the last thing is the watercolor book. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh come on. I have nails, I promise. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. So this is Academia, if I am reading my language correctly. Natural white watercolor paper featuring a fine grain structure on both the front and back sides. Suitable for all wet painting techniques. Ideal for panoramas acid free with high longevity. Well, how unique that I need a panorama in order to do the, the possum drawing. Don't mind me guys. I've had a lot of, it's been a fun week. It's been a very restful week and I am so stoked. I am, I'm going to insert photos right now um, that are, going to be edited of me and the I went to the fair I almost didn't go to the fair and I was scared my anxiety I had this is why I'm disabled I have anxiety PTSD I almost didn't go 
So I entered my dog's book with the, one of the original drawings. That one, best to show. If you guys go further enough back, you'll see me doing a bust uh, with acrylic. That one, a blue ribbon and honorable mention. And then the wood burn of the elk deer got second place. So if I hadn't, you know, fought all of that and didn't enter, I would not be like still stunned trying to talk and, you know, I am, I'm really stoked. Anyways. I wanted to share that amazing moment with you because I'm really proud. The paper, as always, 99% of the time, I love their paper. Last time was a little weird, but I like this one. It's, it is smooth but rough, so I'm looking forward to this. Because you know, we gotta do the obvious squat, you know, Swatches, swatches, the swatchy swatches. Dobby, do the swatchy swatches. Okay, I will do the swatchy swatches. I know. I am I have a lot of I drink a lot of caffeine today. <laughs> a lot of caffeine. Alright. Oh it's brush tip too. Okay. So when you do these, how am I okay? And screw them. I had saved some water in here so it'll make it easier so you guys come see the whole process. Just take fill it up with water. We're also gonna be testing this paper to see how well it can handle newbies and um, we're gonna see how it handles. If it can handle me, it'll be just fine. Alright. I love the fact there's a cap on it. That's really nice. Like, I like that cap. It's really easy. It's much easier to grip than this one. Like, I have to do a triangle fold almost. Two. I like that, because it's, I like that. Nicely done. A plus. All right. We got, the first thing we're gonna do is test this walnut brown. The WB watercolor pencil. Okay, I went really light to really dark up here. So you can just see how much it can take and handle it. Okay. So, with these, these are really cool. So here's my wood, right? So you're gonna squeeze until the water comes out. That's it, okay? And then that way you can control it. You can, con actually, as you're like brushing, you can control the amount of water that you use. I love these things. Things were a godsend. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, I'm... Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm officially impressed. Can we... Eh, there's a smiley face on it. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna let that dry. This is obviously Copic Lana. So you can see, we'll make it like this. That's not smear. can't have nice clothes because you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to constantly wipe it on my sweatpants to <laughs> dry it off okay one thing guys I think would be really cool is 
um, add a sponge like this on here. This does, this is really cool. I really do like this to help clean your brush versus your clothes. So, um, Sketchbox, try to find a really cool one maybe in the future of one of these. Um, not this particular set one, but I'm seeing like, um, see if like wherever you're getting your art supplies will include one of these. So I think that'd be really cool. Um, it could be definitely worth it. All right, so back to this. Wipe. <laughs> You guys seen like how little I'm dipping into the ink, like or the the paint, like that's very rich. Both in this direction now. bit of yellow mixed into it but that's okay a little bit of contrast so you can see and then you just do this and keep wiping yeah definitely invest in the sponge that was let's see I will try my best to get these down maybe Here, I'll just show you these Lime. Man, those are pigmented. They weren't joking. No wonder they were excited. And they also like have if you like a tray. So like, let's let's play around while we're waiting for this. So let's say I want to take a little bit of blue. I just need that touch more green to it. And boom. Watch. You have. And you just keep going back and rebuilding it. a bit so I 
think with this paper, you're gonna have to do a lot of air drying and slowly build up on your colors um, to help not get too much warpage. So, so far that's that. We will see, once this all dries, I'm going to uh, just let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll see if we can add mixtures of colors and how it can blend in things. And then uh, ref refill up my, my paint brush. <laughs> so, so far I'm very happy. I really love this. I'm very excited about this kind of stuff right here. Let's see what cool effects I can I can come up with. All right, so you see these guys? See how they went from big to small? That is how it was like for those possums I saw on that walk. Just let's seriously thank you for inspiring this because I wasn't sure what I was going to create, but now I do. So this is kind of what I'm going for, but a little bit more realistic. So. Still a little wet. Now, let's test some stuff out. So, I really like this dark brown. So I'm probably gonna end up putting it in this part a lot. So let's see if that blends the way I like it. Oh, we need more water. I'm saying about control. If it's fairly dry and that's what you want, you can do that, or you can really blend it to make it. Okay, now let's try the opposite way. And you are this one, I believe. Activate it so you can probably pull off. I'm just doing it with my finger, but let's see. How about you? Let's go darker. Adding up. Important information that was. All right. That's pretty interesting. All right, so I'm going to show you what I've been drawing. Getting the little family. I think I needed one more here. It was really teeny tiny. I mean, it was so teeny. There we go. Yeah. You need to be up here. 
and then your nose be here. Cause it went, it was too little. It was too little, it was itty bitty. So normally when I do sketch boxes, I do really simple things um, because I'm testing things out. But because I'm actually been looking forward to this, I'm going to actually paint a painting. And so this is gonna take me a little bit um, to get down and get going, but I promise you it'll look absolutely adorable. I don't screw it up. So yeah. That's a lot of good important information right there. Believe it or not. On how I'm gonna to have to do this. So I'm gonna keep dueling on this and then I will um we'll go from there. <laughs> 